February 27th and March 7th, 2021, mark the 80th anniversary of the bombing of Parnell Aircraft Limited 8, undoubtedly the most traumatic event in the history of the parish. 55 men and women died during two bombing raids on Yates Aircraft Factory, while another 170 sustained injuries. By 1941, aircraft had been made and repaired on the Station Road site since 1917, with a brief hiatus in the early 1920s. Since 1935, Parnell Aircraft Limited had been mass producing the critical Fraser Nash hydraulic gun turret. Newman Motors had moved onto the eastern section of the aircraft site in 1932 and moved some of its production to making bombshells. Along with its busy railway to and from Bristol, Yate was a prime bombing target. In 1939, the Luftwaffe made aircraft reconnaissance sorties to Yate to record their future targets. Before the, 19, before the 27th of February 1941, there had already been a total of 19 bomber sorties flown against the plant between the 1st of August 1940 and 22nd of February 1941 and all either fa failed to locate their objective, aborted their missions, or were brought down by the local air defences. The Newman site, by contrast, had already, sus already sustained some physical bomb damage. On the afternoon of 27th of February 1941, the situation changed dramatically when a lone raider finally reached Yate and released six delayed action bombs over the works. The effect was catastrophic, for not only were 52 workers killed and 150 others injured, but considerable damage was also caused to the factory and drawing office. Amazingly, the same crew returned on the afternoon of the 7th of March, although only three work workers were killed and 20 injured. Such was the additional damage inflicted that production came to a complete standstill. Nevertheless, the Yate factory was rebuilt and in 1944 was back in full production with 3,500 employees. The parish was determined to remember and honour the casualties of the Parnell bombing raids. The Parnell Memorial was created in 1950 and every year on Remembrance Sunday, a small service is staged by the memorial to mark the loss of the 55 men and women, including three unidentified people. It is a rare example of a memorial to a civilian casualties in wartime. For Whirlpool, it is very important. Back in 2017, the site celebrated 100 years of industrial heritage on this very site. And with that heritage comes the responsibility, a responsibility to take time, to look back and remember the sacrifices that our former colleagues made and the unfortunate people that were killed during the two bombing raids in 1941. What we have here is a wooden replica of the memorial at St Mary's Churchyard in Yate. That memorial itself is a grade two listed uh, 19th visit memorial. Now what was important, what was significant, was it's very rare to get a memorial for civilians. So the reason we have this here, of course, is the significance, the significance of the 55 lives that were lost on the two bombing raids in 1941. And it's acts as a memento, not just to our colleagues, former and, and, and past colleagues, but also for visitors itself. So I'm here with June and Robert Broom, who have a personal family connection with the uh, bombing of the Parnell factory all those years ago. So June, would you like to tell us a bit about the story? Well, I'm June Reeves, or I was June Reeves, and um, my, I was six months old when Parnell's was bombed and my father was killed. And this is Robert, my son. And um, I only know all the family bits and pieces that I've gathered that how um, when it was bombed the bomb the plane come in very low and dropped its bombs 
and that um, my father was a first aider in there and he was rescuing people and he got some girls out and then he went back in and when he went back in it was a, another bomb went off and he wasn't killed outright he was taken to the BRI where my mother and her father walked in there to be with him till he, he, he died later like the, the next day so whereas Parnas was bombed on the 27th he died on the 28th but also um, there's always been memories of it every year ever since. So th this 80th anniversary means quite a lot to, to both of you I should think. Yeah, yes. because it just shows how long ago it was but people still remember. You never forget. No. 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 And, uh, and um, your father had a role in the in the uh, factory, I understand. He worked in there as well, yeah. Uh, but he was the first aider in the, I suppose they had like an ambulance room there. And with Sister Hobbs, who was a sister, she was evidently there all the time, employed by foreigners, I suppose, for when anyone had a minor accident or anything there. And you were telling me a story about Sister Hobbs herself on that day. Yes, she was evidently buried under the rubble uh, for three quarters of an hour. And then when she gradually crawled out from under it, um, she went straight to looking after the injured. Yeah. Marvellous woman. And she was there ever after. She married Mr. Wheeler. Or she, she was Sister Wheeler later in life. I think he might, I don't know who he was, he better be worked there or not, I'm not sure. And Robert, I guess you've grown up knowing the story of your, your grandfather. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Because uh, yeah. from, from the newspaper report you showed me, his, his efforts on that day were, were heroic, really. Yes, and because, as others will be um, familiar with, uh, people from that generation don't tend to talk about what happened until much later. So mm. it's only in the last what, 10 years or so we've discovered those details about, about him. So it's been quite interesting to talk to uh, obviously my mother and I've got two daughters so they're the great grandchildren of, uh, of, of William Reeves and um, yeah, it's quite proud really, well, very proud really, to know <laughs> that he's you know, performed so, yeah, something so heroic. Yes. Well thank you both very much indeed for speaking to me this afternoon. Thank you. Good. And uh, welcome to this uh, very solemn occasion, um, uh, a, a reminder that in a world war, uh, the war came to Yates. And uh, to remember all those who died on that bombing uh, in 1941, on this day, and then uh, again a week later when that same bomber returned. And I guess it puts, when you've got death coming from the skies, it does put uh, uh, the virus that we are having to battle with at the moment in perspective. We gather this afternoon to remember the 55 women and men of the Parnell Aircraft Company, who 80 years ago on the 27th of February and 7th of March 1941, laid down their lives for the sake of our freedom. Our Lord Jesus Christ taught that no one has greater love than this, to lay down their life for their friends. So we meet to honour before God all those who have lived and died in his service and in the service of others. But first, we pray for peace in our broken world and for all who suffer or are in need as a result of war. We pray for the injured and disabled, for those who have been left mentally distressed, and for those whose faith in God and in humankind has been weakened or destroyed. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who mourn, family and friends, Killed in war, those who have lost their husband or wife, children, parents or siblings. 
Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the homeless and refugees, for those who are hungry, and for those who have lost their livelihood and security as a result of war. We pray for men and women the world over, that they may enjoy justice and freedom, and live without threat of violence, insecurity and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the peace of the world, that statesmen and rulers may have the courage and wisdom to do what is right, and for the peacemakers working for improved international relations, that they may find the true way to reconcile people of different race, colour and creed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their fellow countrymen in war, and especially all those employees of the Parnell Aircraft Factory who died 80 years ago. We remember Cyril Curtis, Edward G. Davis, Frederick Fry, Herbert J. Hole. Percy J. Lord, Kenneth Reed, Douglas Shorey, Jeffrey B. White. We remember the three people who died whose remains were unidentified. And also Barbara Amos, Thomas A. Barnes, Edward R. Batten, Morris F. Bergerny, Morris H. Boone, Albert Bruton, Alec Burr, Kenneth Buxton, Edward J. Damsel, William J. Davis, Ivy M. Day, Edith Doyle, John B. Dyson, Ronald T. Guest, Charles Hathaway, Henry Hathaway, Norman Howland, Stanley Hughes, Frederick Hutchinson, Ernest M. James, Percy J. Jeffries, Monica Lawless, Frederick Laurie, Douglas D. T. Luton, Angus Milner, Thomas Moore, James Morris, Rupert M. Newman, William J. Orton, Betty D. Parkman, Tom Phipps, William Reeves, Robert Squires, Arthur Still, Phyllis M. Tovey, George Towns, Eric Tulip, Prudence Bowles, Alfred P. White, Douglas Williams, Walter J. Wright, Thomas A. Bees, William White, and Edward Wilcox. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, 
We will remember them. We will we'll remember, remember them. them. Mighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayers and thanksgiving for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love, and bring us all with them to your eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow humans, that we may help and comfort others and support those working for the relief of the needy and the peace and welfare of nations. Lord, Lord God, God our, our Father, Father, we, we pledge, pledge ourselves to serve you and all humankind in the cause of peace and justice, for the relief of want and suffering, for the, the praise, praise of your name. Our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the King's kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Very uh, big thank you to all of you who've come to this really easily missed, but a very, very important event. Go forth into the world of peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted, honour everyone. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always.